Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Bookstack on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this will be installed today. A uh, simple and free wiki software. Bookstack is a simple, self-hosted, easy-to-use platform for organizing and storing information. It's free and open source. Easy, simple uh, interface. Books, chapters, pages. Searchable and connected. Configurable, simple requirements, built-in diagrams, a dot, a net, and then multilingual, optional markdown editor, integrated authentication, powerful features, multi-factor authentication, dark and light modes. So, th this is what it looks like, and that's what will be installed. So, I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to how to install Bookstack on Dockage right here. And then I'm gonna go in the Docker Compose. So version two of Docker Compose is being used. I'm gonna set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Bookstack. The image is coming off Linux server, the registry for that, and Linux server Bookstack, and it's using the latest tag by default. The container name is set to Bookstack. The environment variables, uh, the user ID for the process, group ID for the process is 1000, 1000. The app URL right here, we will need to change the local host right here to the Dockage IP address. And the uh, database credentials down here will, will be used to connect to over here, the Bookstack DB. And um, the app uh, default dark mode is set to true. Uh, the, I'm going to set a volume down here, so Bookstack config. This is the local volume. It's defined down here, right here. And then the container is config, so these two will sync back and forth, and do not change the container side. I'm going to set some ports, so 6875 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your uh, your host, then you can change it, but you need to change the app URL as well. Um, do not change the container's port right here is 80. Um, a restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for no reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set depends on the bookstack DB because it does. And then the networks, bookstack network. And then um, I'm going to come down here to the MariaDB. And uh, this will be off the Linux server. And then uh, this is the Docker image. And then it's using the latest tag by default. Container names called Bookstack DB. The environment variables are a MySQL root password, and then that's your your root password. MySQL database, Bookstack app. This should align up here, the DB database, and then the MySQL user should align with the DB user up here. The MySQL password should align with the DB pass up here, which is secret. Um, the volumes, Bookstack DB data, it's defined down here. And this is on the host side. And then on the container side is bar lib MySQL. And then I'm going to set restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set networks down here, bookstack network. And then now I'm going to define the network down here. So bookstack network, and that's a bridge network. Um, I'm going to make it to where these two services can communicate with each other because of db host right here bookstack db and then that's the service name uh this is the uh, uh defines of the uh the volumes that are used on up here uh, up here a bookstack config and the bookstack db data so now i'm going to go over here to copy raw file and then i'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club all right, uh, uh, you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming.
So we're going to start on our dockage now. I'm going to go up to compose and then I'm going to put a stack name of book uh, stack. And then now I'm going to come over here to the editor and I'm going to paste in the Docker compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then now you can see it did sync over in the UI. So if you edit this, it syncs over here. Also, if you want to add a new container to it, you can just type the, uh, the image in here, the image name, and then press add a container um, to the container name. And then now it will add it over here. So if you just did Nginx, it will add it over here inside of the Docker Compose. And now you put an image name in. And then now you can see that it's getting the latest tag. So it syncs over here. Um, so now I'm going to delete the Nginx. And then now I'm gonna deploy up here. So now what this is doing is it's pulling the uh, doc Docker images off the registry, getting them extracted and getting them up in the back end with Docker Compose because this runs on the Docker engine. Um, so you can see it's up and running and it should be getting the database connection. It's preparing the m migration. So it's migrating the table. So it did connect to the DB uh, successfully. So it should be good to go in a few. Okay, so it migrated and it should be up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options and dockage. Um, so your status is active, exited, and inactive. Uh, these are the, uh, the status of the stacks over here. Um, you can go into the stack and you can see the actions up here. You can see the containers. You can see the console uh, logs down here. And then you can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose. And um, you can edit the stack. And then you can edit over here. And then it'll sync over here and vice versa. You can go into each container and edit it. And it'd be over here. Um, you can add a new container to this uh, stack over here. You can add URLs. You can come down here and you can have more options like environment variables, networks, which is which is already in a book stack network down here, inter uh, internal network. You can add another um, external networks right here. Um, so the actions up here, deploy, save, stop and down, and then discard. So I'm gonna discard the changes. So you can restart the stack and then it'll just restart it. And this could take a little bit, like 10 seconds. Nope. Take five. Okay, now you can update the current tags that are on the stack. Like if there's a latest tag and there is, um, Ed will pull it down from the registry, get the local cache updated, and then push it back out and deploy. Um, you can stop the stack, you can stop and down, and then you can delete the stack. You can come down here to the containers and you can go in the ter terminals uh, 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 of the containers. So, so you can go into bash. And then there you go. You can also switch to SH right here. Um, so I'm going to go back in the stack. So now you can see that uh, when you do anything with the containers, you have the logs down here, which is great for debugging. Um, so that's a little bit about uh, the stack options in Dockage. So now we're going to be on our Dockage, and I need to change the URL for the UI. Um, so I'm going to go to a book stack, and then I'm going to edit. And then I'm going to go to edit right here on the book stack right here. I'm going to scroll down to environment variables and this app URL right here. I'm going to change this local host to the IP of my dockage. So I'm going to cha change it. And it should be, a year should be exactly like this, except a different IP right here. Um, so I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to say deploy. And now it's recreating the cont uh, containers. So it should be up and running and we should be able to access it on the the UI right here. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to book stack over here in your stacks. And then I'm going to go to this port right here, 6875. And then now we're in the UI. We clicked it. So I'm going to type in the default uh, username and password, which is the email and password. I'm going to do admin.com. 
And then the password is password. And then now I'm gonna log in. So now you see you're recently viewed, you're recently uh, updated, your recent activity. You have shelves to where you can cre cre create a shelf, a testing uh, shelf, and then just set, save it. And now you can create books to where you can create a book inside the shelf and testing book. And then now you can see that we're in the testing shelf and then a testing book. So you can create a page now. So you can just create a testing page. And then now you can save the page. And now we have a page inside of the testing book. You can also um, create a new chapter. So testing chapter. Then now you can save it. So, um, and now you can create a new, a new page underneath this ch a chapter. So testing chapter page. And then now you can save it. So now uh, we have these different hierarchies and it's really organizable. Uh, so you can go up here to search and you can do testing and then it'll show you all the ones with testing in it and you can filter by things. You can go over here to shelves, books, and set uh, settings. So uh, features and security. So pu public access, you can allow public access Enabling this option will allow visitors that are logged in to access content in Bookstack instance. You can hire security image uploads, disable comments. You can go over to customizations and change the application name, a default page editor, markdown or WYSIWYG, um, application logo, application icon, application color scheme. You can change the colors, a application homepage, footer links, and then custom HTML head content. And then you can go to registration, enable registration, domain restrictions, email confirmation. And now you can go up this bar up here and you can go to ma maintenance. So you can uh, clear the recycle bin. Um, you can open the recycle bin and then empty it right here. And then you can clean up images, uh, send a test email, re regenerate uh, references, and you can go to the audit log and you can see what things are doing and you can do event filter, a date range from, date range to, the user, and then the IP address. You can go into users right here and you can see them. You can add a new user right here too. You can go into roles and customize them. You can uh, create a webhook and then you can have all these events go to um, the endpoint. So. You can go back to the home page. You can go to your profile now. You can uh, see your your favorites, and then you can view your profile. And then you can go to my account, and you can change your name, email, a user avatar, preferred language, and you can see the administrator options down here. You can go to access and security, and I would recommend changing your password and pressing the update. You can turn on multi-factor authentication and then uh, use a Google Authenticator, Authy, or Microsoft Authenticator, securely store a, a one-time use of backup codes. So um, you can also generate an API token, a UI shortcut, and then a notifications, and then watch and order items. Um, so you can go into the, pa the pages and you can have these actions over here like you can fa a favorite one and then you can come over here and you can go to m my favorites and you can always get back to that page and then you can add a comment down here so it's 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 a pretty nice system and then you can see it you can reply to it edit delete so that's a little bit of a walkthrough on the ui for bookstack so i just went over everything to get you started with bookstack on dockage so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.